In the last couple of videos, we've been working really hard to get this Overland Camp Trailer up and ready to hit the trail. In this video, I want to talk about some upgrades that we're going to be doing to the trailer to kind of help improve the experiences or the quality of experiences when you're out there camping and overlanding on the trail. Without further ado, let's get to work. So I've got this heavy piece of flat stock and I'm just going to repurpose it for this wheel. Basically we need something this wheel can bolt to and I've just gone ahead and basically traced out the pattern for the bolt holes and the trains and I'll just go ahead and cut this out with my bandsaw and get some holes drilled. a circle now this is a beat up caliper I don't really use it much and there we have it let's go ahead and weld this thing up to that jack all right so we have this cut off let's go ahead and weld the plate to it So I'm pretty happy with the welds on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to install this wheel. But before that, I wanna wipe this down with alcohol and get it painted. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get it painted. All right, so as you can see, I've got the wheel bolted on and man this thing is so easy to get moving around it just it glides wherever i want it it skates wherever i want it and i think this is going to be a huge upgrade to this overland trailer especially on or off the trail we need to disconnect and move it around whatever the use i think this is going to be a huge upgrade and i'm this is probably one of my favorite upgrades let me get the camera and i'll share you share with you a little bit of close-ups all right so the wheel is an eight inch wheel i picked this up on amazon for about 25 bucks it's solid rubber um, and it's got a pretty good pretty good solid bearings as far as the hub goes and as you can see we just used some quarter 20 bolts grade 8 and I welded the plate to the jack pretty simple and bolted it up too this is going to be a huge upgrade and it's just so much nice the actual bearing just below this plate is serviceable you can see a zerk fitting there and yeah, this is so much easier getting this trailer in and out of the garage. Um, you know, I'm very limited on space. So this wheel is a huge improvement, especially if you have to move your trailer around, you're limited in space. This wheel is the way to go. So now that we're done with this upgrade, I wanna share with you some other stuff that I think is super important to have on an Overland trailer. Uh, fuel packs, fuel and water packs. You probably already saw the water packs that I installed here. That's what we're going to be working on next. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so we've got our holes drilled out. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we have for as far as Roto Pack mounts. They come in the packaging like this. I picked these up on Amazon. For a sweet deal i already have one mount already unpackaged we got some hardware with that and i'll just go ahead and quickly show you how one assembles so you'll take the uh, aluminum billet aluminum piece here and basically just thread in your two bolts that comes in the packaging now i'm just going to tighten them up pretty much hand tight for now until 
we can get a roto pack on here and just kind of see how this is going to mount up to the trailer. And I think I want to put it right there. So uh, let me make some marks here on where I want this position and then we'll start uh, getting this welded onto the trailer. I like this stuff, it's called nozzle dip, MIG dip. When your gun gets hot, this stuff works great at keeping like the dingleberries and stuff off of the tip. Keeps it clean and the tip lasts a lot longer. Let's go ahead and burn this in. All right, so these are the trigger locks. They're basically firearm locks, and they are um, pretty useful, I guess, for the rotopack mounts because I've just basically wrapped the cable through the piece of flat stock and then into the gas tank handle itself, and we now have the unit locked up, and I could unlock it. Pretty simple. Pushing the, that button right there, and then pull the pack off, and then I could basically lock it back up and have it secured um, pretty pretty simple uh, little mechanism and I think this will work perfect just kind of deter deter people who may be interested in wanting to steal that now they do have a roto packs mount with the lock I actually have a set we're gonna be installing those in the next video on one of our TJ's so stay tuned for that but uh, I think this is gonna be a perfect solution a very inexpensive the difference between price for the regular and the and the lockable packs mounts there's like a thirty five dollar difference, so with a with some of these locks for about ten bucks I think I paid twenty bucks for all three of these. That was an awesome deal, perfect solution for the trailer. So that's what uh, we have as far as water and fuel now for the trailer. Super excited about these and having this on the trail. We have one more upgrade that we're going to be doing and the last thing is going to be is uh, camp stove propane. So we have some propane for our little portable fireplace and um, so we can cook on the trail. And look how big these fenders are. This almost looks like a nice little cutting board table or something we can use for cooking. I think this, these fenders will definitely be useful on the trail. But without further ado, we need to start working on this little propane mount that I have an idea, a couple ideas I wanna share with you. So let's get to work on that. All right, so in this next part, the plan is to build a mount using some scrap materials. We have to get creative. I think the inch and a half by inch and a half square tube by 120 wall is gonna be heavy enough. And I basically wanna build a mount for an LP propane gas tank. So the plan is to be able to bolt this mount to the trailer and then clamp the tank to this mount. So we're gonna have several holes to drill and then I also want to make what I call a poor man slot. It's uh, basically you drill four holes and then you use your, your grinder to cut out the material to make these slots. And that's what we're gonna use to secure or clamp the tank to the mount. So we have a lot of holes to drill and I'll show you what it looks like right now. All right, so here's the mount we just made. And these are the poor man slots that I was talking to you about. You drill two holes and then you cut the each side on the outside of the holes. And you get this long slot looking um, finish, which is pretty cool. I've got one on both sides. That way we can pass our um, clamps through here and our cinch straps. And then I've also got two one inch holes so I can have access to the back of the material with holes in the back so we can bolt it to our trailer. As you've seen, I was drilling out the holes here on the trailer. I've got 5 16ths by one, one inch or three quarter inch bolts, um, and then some washers, some lock nuts, and then I have these end caps that we'll put on the ends to kind of make it look real nice and have a nice finish. Um, so I gotta bolt this up and then I'll go get the gas tank and then we'll clamp it to this. All right, so I'm going to start by just installing these little end caps. I picked them up for, on Amazon real cheap. I think they make a really nice finished look. And it beats having to spend a lot of time getting, getting these welded on. And that's what it's going to look like, the end product. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take my bolts and drop them through and then set it on my trailer. Add a washer and a lock nut. All right, so this thing is really nice and snug, very secure to the trailer now. We're gonna go ahead and mount the tank. So the plan is to add a cinch strap. So we're gonna feed a cinch strap through here. I'll leave that hanging. And we're also gonna take these stainless steel clamps that I have, and we'll pass these through here as well. Um, I've taken some of this extra electrical covering that I have, like conduit, and I've zip tied it to the bottom of the tank. That way it doesn't scratch up the paint on the mount. And essentially the mount is just gonna set, the tank's gonna set just like this. And then I'll go ahead and get everything situated with my cinch strap. They slip through like this, and then you can push this down and then turn it. So it kind of helps clamp it for you. And we'll do that to both of them. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like all done up. And as you can see, it's pretty solid and secure to this 90 degree mount. The clamps, they pass through this poor man slot, if you will. And then the excess I cut off and filed down the burrs. That way there's no pokies. And then I've taken this cinch strap and also doubled up with the cinch strap just for added security. I think it'll be a lot more secure with this strap. I've known these clamps to come vibrate loose over time. So I wanted this cinch strap. Now the excess for that, I might just take this over to the sewing machine and sew this loop in it because so I can pull this real nice and snug up against the back end of this 90. So everything's looking really good, pretty solid. I do want to get a cap for this valve here. That way while we're driving, nothing can get inside, no dirt or moisture or mud or anything. If you guys have any ideas on where to get a cap like this, I might be looking on Amazon here very soon for a cap. Uh, let me know in the comments box below. But other than that, I think that's a pretty solid mount and I'm very happy with the way this little trailer is starting to come out. So guys, I think we're going to end the video here and also the Overland Trailer build series. I think five parts is pretty good and I've covered a lot of details on this trailer. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little series of trailer builds and um, I definitely think the stuff that we did in this video is going to definitely improve our camping and overlanding experiences. And that's what it's all about is just get out there and have a good time. And I am definitely ready for a vacation. So with that, um, I'll list all the materials in, in the description box below. Um, go ahead and check that out. Feel free to leave a comment or ask any questions you have about this trailer build. And um, I'm definitely not going to be stopping here as far as improvements and things that I want to do to the trailer. But uh, I think right here we'll end the series and start working on getting back to the Jeeps and doing things like that. I have a lot of stuff planned over there. So uh, without further ado, that's pretty much we're going to end the video. Hey, if you like the build series, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, definitely consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Peace out.